friends and welcome back to another video. So I thought today I would try to squeeze in just one more Easter decorating video. However, it's really not just Easter. It is more spring decorating ideas. I wanted to put together a really simple um, kind of natural organic looking spring tablescape. So you definitely could use it for Easter. However, not really much of it is going to um, be Easter specific. It's really just spring and you can transition this even into summer by changing out the florals and stuff. So it's really simple. It's going to be more casual. However, I do think it could be, it could go both ways. It could be casual, but it could be a little bit more dressy as well. We are very casual people. So for us, it's just a super casual. What is this hair? Okay, so for us, it's just, um, we're casual, so it's not super dressy for us at all, but you definitely could make it that way, or um, I think it could just go either way, but it's just incorporating a lot of woods and greenery like I love to do, and so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it gives you a kind of simple, quick little tablescape that you could put together to enjoy a nice meal with friends and family. I'm only going to do a play, play setting for four because that's all we have in our family. And for Easter, that's all we're having. We're still kind of social distancing a little bit, not doing get togethers. So we, it's just the four of us. So it's very simple but you obviously could make it eight, 10, however many people that you have. And it's just to give you ideas, but try to incorporate maybe what you have so you're not out having to spend a lot of money, but just give you a simple, easy way to decorate your table for spring and Easter. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we have that we're working with, and then we'll get decorating. Okay, so here are Basically what I'm looking at, like I said, this is like easy, 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 and very basic and very simple, but I did find this table runner at Target. It was actually on clearance. I think it's so pretty. I love this green, and just like a very natural, organic looking um, table runner. And then I do have these napkins. These are just like a little pale green, and they have fringe at the bottom, and some have a white fringe, some have a darker green fringe. I have these jute placemats. I love these. I use these all the time. Again, jute just being a very organic material and adding a little texture. So then I have this wooden vase. This is from at home. Very like raw wood. So I like that. I have some tulips here. I have some bigger ones, some smaller ones. These are like the real touch tulips. I've had those. And then these little plants I found at Michael's and I thought they were so cute. Again, the wood and that looks nice with that. And I thought it would just be a nice little accent to each place setting. So I got those over at Michael's. And then these goblets I've had for a long time, super heavy. And I just like these because they can be used for water or whatever else that you would want to have to drink. So I just put those at each place setting. So the only thing that's really Easter, but that could just carry right through to the spring, are I have a few of these little moss bunnies to put on the table. So then I have these plates. These are part of Bee and Willow from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I love this print. It's just very, very subtle, and I think it's really pretty. And then these are also Bee and Willow plates, and they're just a uh, cream color, and if you can see, they have a little bit of speckling. So those are really pretty with those on it. And yeah, I think that's about it. If I end up pulling anything else from anywhere else, I will share that with you at the end. This will be a quick video and I'll just give you a quick glimpse at how I will be setting our table. I will not be putting out silverware. I just don't think that's very sanitary. I mean, as it is, I would be rinsing these off before we use them, but I'm not gonna set out silverware at this point.
Okay, so here is how this really simple little tablescape came out. And to be honest, I think it's one of my favorites just because if you've been watching for a while, you see how much I've just simplified my decor. And I feel like that's what this is, just a super simple tablescape. After Easter, I could take these bunnies down, and but I don't even have to. They still go with spring and everything. So it doesn't like scream Easter, but yet it is still, I think, a pretty and festive tablescape to have at Easter time, but then to just leave up throughout the spring and then it comes summer, I can take the bunnies down and I can put some hydrangeas or some other really pretty floral in here. And I think that would be just as pretty. So I'm really, really happy with how this came out. Um, if you saw I had a little problem with my bunny's ear over there, that's a word of advice. Don't ever pick your little bunnies up by their ear because it broke, but all is well. I have super glued it and that is done. So anyways, this is just how each place setting came out. I love these because they just kind of look like a little ray of sunshine or a little flower around and then just add a lot of texture to the table. 
And then just these super simple, pretty plates, these goblets. And then I love the little addition, I'll move this over just a little. I love the little addition to these little plants to each place setting. Just adds a little bit more greenery and just makes it look a little bit more organic, especially with the little wooden um, pots that they're in. And that was it. This is really pretty. So this came from at home and then I, these tulips, um, the big ones were from Michael's. These were from like the Target dollar spot a few years ago. I like the addition of the big and the small just to kind of fill it in just a little bit and add it adds just a little pop of color with the different variations of pink. Um, but that is so pretty. I think this would be really pretty too in the summer with big like palm um, leaves coming out of it. So that might be something that I do over the summer. And then I just added these two little moss bunnies and that would be about all that I did for this tablescape. So this whole, oh, there's my friend, Kova, come here. Sit, Kova sit, Kova sit. Say hi everybody, say hi everybody. Kova got a new name tag for her birthday. Yeah, you're a good girl. That's a good girl. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. Okay. All right, so this is just simple, kind of like all the other decor that I put up for Easter. I might try to squeeze in here in the next couple days before Easter, just a quick little Easter home tour. I only put it in a few rooms, um, just to show you how I very simply decorated for Easter and how it all came together. I did just post that other day, that video the other day of my other Easter decorating, but I can try to just maybe do a home tour so you can just see how it flows from room to room. So thank you all so much for watching. Follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana and I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a great day and a happy Easter.